Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on upgrading um, a Mac a Mac Pro's um, Super Drive with a Blu-ray drive. My particular Mac is a late 2010 Mac Pro uh, 12 core. Um, I ordered it with two Super Drives and they both work great but obviously I'd like it to be able to be used for Blu-rays as well and so that's what today's exercise is all about. The tools you'll be needing will be a screwdriver with a flat head and a uh, square head, uh, Phillips head and a pin. I'm also recommend having a Blu-ray disc handy so that you can test it afterwards. The Blu-ray drive I'll be using is an uh, LG the model number is a WH10 LS30, although I believe many other models will work as well, but um, the LGs have proven to work very well in Mac, so that's the one I'm going to go with. First up, I'm going to shut my Mac down. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to prepare my uh, LG drive. The first thing I'm going to be doing is removing the little faceplate cover and I, that's what I use the pin for. I'm going to pop this pop this drive open if, it's, if it lets me. Oh, let me push this in here. All right. Here we go. Okay. There's the pin to drop it open. And we're going to remove this plate here. This plate is just a little bit too big for the uh, Mac Pro's front doors. It uh, will block it and so it's very easy to remove this plate. I use the flat head of the screwdriver. I pry these little pry the plate off. They're lifting it slightly and it comes away just like that. Drive can now close. Next I'm gonna get back up here. So I'll move the keyboard, mouse out of the way. Put a towel down. down here to my Mac Pro and plug it. Pop it up on the table. Okay. Move the back door. Now the module we'll be uh, removing is this one here which is the optical drives module. It's not exactly the easiest module in the world to use. It requires a bit of brute force to pull it out. But inside you'll see two super drives and are connected these black cables, which is um, the power and the serial ATA cable. And we'll just pop those off, one for each drive. Then the whole module can be removed. Then it's simply a matter of unscrewing the four screws, hold the drives in, like so. And sliding the super drive out. Now, this is not a necessary step, but if you want it to be perfect, you can also pry off this front cover, which is on the super drive, and we can pop that on the new Blu ray drive. So that it looks perfect. Straighten that up a bit. Still not getting that quite right. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. Then we simply move the super drive aside, slide the Blu ray drive in, 
line it up with the same holes, put the bolts back, oops, let's drive around. One, two, three, and finally four. Come on, number four. In you go. Okay, now we can uh, replace the power and the Serial 88 cables back in. A and B. A into the top drive, B into the bottom drive. And then slide the whole module back into place. Simple as that. Okay, side cover can go back on, lock, and we'll plug it back in. Power, monitors. USB, one, two, three, network, and sound. Slide it back into place and power it on. Okay. Remove this towel. Move drive into this box. Yeah, a bit of plastic from the LG drive in that box. Pin and screwdriver over there. Hmm. I think I plugged the screens in the wrong way around. Anyway. So now, if I go up here, have a look, my super drive has been replaced by a Blu-ray drive, open up a Blu-ray drive, and there it is, Let's pop a disc in, Let's see if it will read it. And there it is, the Hurt Locker. Perfect. Works fine. So there you go. That's how you upgrade your Mac Pro to a Blu-ray compatible. Um, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching.